Okay, so this this was the magic. This is the magic, and this was the this is the foundation. It's all about the intro video, right? So now, unlike your other videos that you have on the on the business page, all of those videos were just posted organically, got a few views, and and that's about it. And and so now from this point on, and th and so now yeah, from this point on, whether it's whether it's going to be organic because you do a lot of video, you post a lot of organic video, and that's cool. But what I would recommend is now narrowing it, narrowing it in to just one person, right? Now we're just targeting the homeowner. And, and, and two reasons, because number one, one reason, it makes it easier for you to think of content. Now, all I got to do is think of content around the, around the homeowner. I don't have to think of all these random real estate tips and tricks and strategies and all these different random ideas that people have when it comes to real estate. There's so many different things you could talk about, but that's the problem. Most realtors are bringing all this random content to social media, and it's not targeting anyone. It's, it's, it's just talking all real estate related, which is cool, but it's too general. When it comes to marketing, again, whether it's, it's organic or an ad, focus in, focus in on one person. And it's super simple, the homeowner. We now have a seller guide. We, we can now keep pumping off these videos, whether it's organic or ads. And now we're targeting one person, the seller, right? Now we have something to offer, the, the, the free PDF. So, so here is where it all starts. This was the intro video. Our whole objective with this is to run it to our local area, get thousands of people to view it, and then take, take the percentage of the 11,000, put it in an audience, and continue to retarget them. These are people who live down the street, right? So literally, literally physically down the street. So now we're going to take the audience and we're going to say, hey, Facebook, here's an audience of 11,000 people. Out of the eleven thousand people, X amount watched. Watch that's a that's a that's a fifty four second video. We're gonna tell Facebook this is an audience, fifty four seconds, eleven thousand views. Out of the eleven thousand views, there were a percentage that actually watched it for thirty seconds. Not everyone watched the whole video. The eleven thousand view uh, count at the top right, eleven k. That is a count off of off of fifteen off of three seconds. So once someone sits here and watches it for three seconds, that's why you see in the top right eleven point four thousand three second video views. So the the video view count eleven k that happens off of three seconds. So so over so so eleven thousand people for sure watched it for at least three seconds. But how many watched it for twenty seconds? How many watched it for thirty seconds? Right, not everyone watched it for 54 seconds. That number is going to be smaller than 11,000. Even those who watched it for 22 seconds would be smaller than 11,000. Right, 11,000 watched it for at least three seconds, but the amount of people who watched it for maybe 15 seconds is is probably less than 11,000 for sure. But here's my point: whatever it is, we're going to take that audience. So, for example, we would take the audience of of those who watched it for those who watched it for 30 seconds. We're going to put them in an audience. If we didn't already, which I, I think we did, though, I think we did, and that's good. What we're going to do now, what I'm going to show you now, is how we take that audience and we we now scale it. We now tell Facebook, hey, man, here's, here's a few thousand people that watched my video for 20 seconds. Go and find me 300,000 more people, Facebook, that look just like them. And now that's when we go into ad number two. Let's call this ad number one. That's when we now go into ad number two, talking to the homeowner, offering the seller guide. But now that's when we have a group of people, hundreds of thousands of people that we can now target because Facebook knows our ideal client or not ideal client, but they know our ideal viewer. The ideal viewer is the person who sat here and watched it for at least 20 seconds, not three seconds. That's 11,000 people that watched it for three seconds. I don't want all 11,000, nor do I need all 11,000. I need the people who watched it for at least 20 seconds. And let's call that 6,000 people. Okay, so 6,000 people watched it for at least 20 seconds. That's what, fa that's what we want to tell Facebook right now. That's what I'm, I'm, we're going to set up. We're going to say, Facebook, here is X amount. Go and find us more. And that's when we go into ad number two, which could be all these, pre these videos that you already have made, right? You have a ton of them that are already made. But whatever it is, it's ad number two. And that's when we now start going for leads. So... So now let's, so let me take you through the setup because this part's so, so important and this is where everyone drops the ball. So open up another tab and let's just go straight to, um, we have our bookmarks right there at the top, FE Business Manager, the folder. So just open up another tab, open up another tab. No, open up another tab. 
hit the plus sign, open, yeah, open another tab, go to your folder and go to, um, let's hit our folder. What do we have in the folder? The, the FB business manager uh, folder right at the top, bookmarks. So in here, you can go to custom audiences. Perfect. So go to custom audiences. Okay, so in here, I'm pretty sure we already set up the audience of the intro, which is, um, which is, which one was it? It was um, intro video at the top one, intro video 25%. So perfect. So we have that video, intro video, 25%. So again, 25% of 54 seconds, right? So 25% of 54 seconds is what? Is, is a quarter of 50. A, a quarter, quarter of 50. Of 15. About 15 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my point. That audience are those that watched it for at least 15 seconds. Now, if 11,000 watched it for three seconds, it's safe to say that in, and we can know the exact number. I can, we can go and look at the exact metric, but I'm metric, but I'm just giving you the, the overall general example. And this is as basic as it is. 25%, those that watched it for at least 15 seconds, let's call that a group of 6,000 people, right? So now we're going to take that audience of, let's just say 6,000 people that watched it for at least 25%. We're gonna now take that audience to Facebook and say, hey man, here is a group of people on a silver platter. Go and find me hundreds of thousands more that look just like them. And when I'm referring to what, what, I'm, what I mean by look just like them, same buying patterns, same clicking patterns, Facebook knows everything we're clicking on. And they really, they, they mainly know it because Every website nowadays has a Facebook pixel. So if you're building a website or if you're putting together any landing pages in 2022, you at least know of the Facebook pixel and you at least have your pixel on that. Even if you're not running ads, you, you at least have your Facebook pixel. And if you have a website today and you don't have a Facebook pixel on it, then you're really, you're really behind times. But most people that have a website, even if your broker is providing your Howard Hanna website, the, whoever is building that website, they have a pixel on it. So again, that that's what most websites have, most landing pages have. That's how Facebook has so much data. They know what everyone's clicking on because of pixels. So here, again, all we want to do is show, is tell Facebook, here is this group, go and find us more that resemble them. And here's how you do it. So check the box to the left of intro video, check the box. And then now we're going to simply... You can click on those three dots right there at the top. This is how you create a look-alike audience based on the 25%. So um, you have look-alike, but you're in housing. You should have seen a different option. Click on the blue uh, create audience button. There should be, a, um, yeah, there we go. So special ad audience. So come down to that one, special ad audience. So here again, I know I've already lost you, but 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 if but try to try to really understand this basic part. Hit continue. All we're doing is now taking this group, which is, again, less than 11,000. Let's call this just a few thousand. But as long as it's a few thousand, that's all we need. 3,000, 4,000 of the 11,000, whatever. We just need a few thousand to make this happen. Um, so here, we're going to select your source. So uh, check the box um, at the top, select your source, and then come down to the, the, um, the intro video, the 25%. So it's going to be that one. And then... The audience, select your audience location, just put United, you, you can only go by, by region or country. So click inside that box and type in the United States. Okay, so now just hit the drop down, United States. And so now um, get away from there. So click away from the drop down. Get away. Yeah. Okay, so now the number of special ad audiences, we want three. So hit the drop down of one and come down to three. So we want, we want um, so these are the three audiences, zero to 1%, that's one audience. So again, based off of the criteria, 25% of a 55 second video or 54 seconds, whatever it was, that's enough data, a few thousand people where we're giving it to Facebook and now Facebook, Facebook, Facebook's gonna, gonna show us 2.7 million more. Now, this is nationwide, but once we actually go and run the ad and we type in your local area, that's when Facebook then narrows it into that local area. So it might not be 2.7 million, zero to 1%. 2.7, that's how many people resemble this group of people in the country.
But again, once we get to the targeting, it's going to be smaller than that. So let's just call it a few hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. If I can, if I can tell Facebook, Hey, here's a few thousand of, of these people who watched it for 25%. And then Facebook goes and show and goes, goes and finds me 300,000 people that resemble that them that look that are actually in my local area. That's what this is all about. Then from ad number two and on, we target that audience because Facebook has already worked the algorithm. Facebook has already worked it all. And, 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 they found our ideal audience based on our 25%. So based again, it sounds within that, based within that mileage from based on the, based the within the mileage. Exactly. Yes. Yes. We're only targeting our local area. So this is how you scale Facebook ads. This is what most don't get to most just run an ad. They'll capture a lead and think they know Facebook ads. No, you don't. There's so much more that goes to it, but it's simple. It's simple. It's just a few buttons that we're clicking on here. It's simple. And then once we really set this part up, we then, again, this becomes the targeting. We target our, lo our local area, and we also include this in the, in the targeting as well. And so we have three audiences that we're creating. One is zero to 1%, 2.7 million. And then the second is one to two. And then the third is two to three, three different audiences. So go to create audience, hit the blue one, create audience. And so now we have literally, it's going to be hundreds of thousands of people that, um, that, that end up fitting this criteria. Refresh this page, just go to uh, refresh it at the top. Just hit the little arrow. Yeah, there you go. And then we'll see it here. And these are our special ad audiences. So those are all ready to go. So now, now, and, and we don't have ad number two ready just yet. That's what hopefully we're gonna strategize about uh, today, but here's how you would target it. Here's how exactly you would, you would do it. Click the three lines in the top left and go to your ads manager. So three lines um, right at the top left and go to ads manager. Here? The three lines to the left, right below you the little here, here. Yeah, click on ads manager. Okay, so now here's how you would do it. Now we have the audiences set up, right? We have the audiences set up. So now click on the green um, create button. And so now as we go through the setup, of the ad and X this out real quick, close out this little window here in the middle. Just hit X real quick. This one? As we, yeah. yeah, click it again, click the X, close it out. This? Yes, so as we go through what I'm gonna show you, when you click the green button, we're going to the setup of an ad. All we're doing is going through these tabs. Okay, so campaign, this is one tab. The middle tab is ad sets. The tab to the right is ads. Do you see that? Three tabs, do you see that? You set up, oh, campaigns, ad sets, and ads. Okay. Yeah. Do you see that? Okay. Yeah. So the campaign is where we choose the objective, conversions, and then and then we also choose, choose special. Yeah. So all I'm going to do is take you to the three. We're going to go through the first two just so I can show you how to target these audiences. But But that's all we're doing is as we click the green button, we're just going through these three tabs. So click the green button. Tab number one, campaigns, is choosing the objective. So 99.999% of the time, in fact, 100% of the time for ad number two and on, it's leads. So you're going with leads and then click continue. So campaign, yep, this first tab is choosing the objective, which is leads, and then choosing the, and then hitting the drop down, which is special ad categories, hitting the drop down there for categories and going housing. That's it. That's step one, the campaign tab, that's it. Then you go to the, click the blue button next, and then you go to the second tab, which is the ad set tab. In the ad set tab, this is where you choose your budget. This is where you choose your audiences. This is where you choose your targeting. This is where you actually put the, the, the conversion event, which is the pixel. I mean, excuse me, which is a custom conversion. The pixel is Andrea Gold Realtor. There's your pixel. But then the, the, um, the red box there at the bottom, that's where you choose the custom conversion which the custom conversion is your thank you page. That's what we set up under custom conversion. So if you click inside that box, the red box conversion event, you'll see your custom conversion. So click inside the red box. Your custom conversion is the one you created. Well, we created, but it's a seller. It's up. You just passed it. So go back up. It's the, it's the one that you typed out, which was seller guide leads. Go back up, seller guide leads. That's your thank you page. You probably don't remember us setting that up, nope. but 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 that's that's our thank you page. 
you got two pages, right? The opt-in page, the landing page, and the, and the thank you page. So here on the second tab, the ad set tab, this is where we would put in our custom conversion. That's it right there. Um, we'd make sure the top says website. So scroll back up to the top real quick. This bubble is website. So we're good there. We scroll down. So below conversion event, we scroll down. This is where we're going to also choose the audiences, choose the targeting, and choose the budget. That's all done on this second tab. Okay, the second level. So scroll down. Below conversion event, you got um, you got audiences. So um, where did it go? Where, where's your um, scroll? Scroll down. Yeah, scroll down. So you got you got right. You got, uh, keep going. Show more options. So click on show more options. And then keep going down lower. Okay, you got your budget and then you got your audiences right below the budget. So the budget, you'll always want to start the ad the next day. Always try to set. And again, don't worry about trying to master this. This is what I'm here for. I'm going to continue to coach you and teach you until we freaking get this thing down. down. But, but, but this is where if when you're running ads, let's say, for example, you're on your own and, and you're setting up this ad. If it's the morning time, then set it for the next day at 6 a.m. Right. So if, if it was actually 11 a.m. your time right now and you were doing this, set the ad to start the next day at 6 a.m. If we're already at 3.30 ish and it's already way afternoon your time, then set it for the following day at 6 a.m. So it would go out on the first at 6 a.m., for example. OK, that way you give Facebook plenty of time to approve the ad um, and then scroll down. So if you scroll down, now we have our audiences. Now we have our audiences. So if you click inside the box search existing audiences. This is where we have our lookalike audiences, which are your AKA special ad audiences. So this is where now, and this is this is a part of testing as well. So when it comes to Facebook ads, it's not like you can put out one ad and all of a sudden you're gonna generate a shitload of leads. It doesn't always happen that way. There's testing. Testing, one form of testing is testing audiences and seeing, okay, in this one ad, maybe we put all three of them. And then a second ad, maybe we only target one of them, right? And then, and then the third ad, maybe we, maybe we only target two of them. So it's a form of testing. You're testing audiences to see which audience pops. Or you're testing videos or you're testing images. Um, but really, those, those are really the only – actually, you know, to tell you the truth, that's the only testing you're going to really do, two types of testing, testing audiences and then testing videos, Right. So the strategy that I'm really trying to give you is 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 two videos a month. Post one video, let it run for 15 days. Post another video, let it run for, for 15 days. I truly believe two videos per month, two video videos per month will 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 outperform and, and outdo all the organic posting that you're doing right now. So if you're doing Instagram, if you're doing TikTok, if you're putting these videos on your business page and you're just posting them organically, you know, up there, two ads a month would replace all of that. Like literally, literally all of that. So when it comes to it, yeah, you run one video ad for 15 days. If it's not, if it's not generating leads, okay, well then cool. We have our second one ready to go on day 16. And that's that's the only reason why you'd run another another video on the on the 16th day, for example. It's the only reason why you'd run your second video, for example, if, is if the first one wasn't wasn't working. No big deal. It's part of testing. So again, two forms of testing are your are your audiences, seeing which audience is is the one generating leads, and then and then seeing what video is the one generating the leads. If if video number one is, is starting to really take off and we're on day 13, day 14, day 15, and now a ton of leads are coming in from this one video ad. Okay, well then leave it on. Don't run the second one. We don't need to run the second one, right? Because it's- first well, Is that how you felt about this first round? No, the first one was not a lead ad. We'll get to that one. But the one that we went out, the, one, the video that we first ran that got 11,000 views, that wasn't a lead ad. That was simply brand awareness. The only reason why we did that was to get the 11,000 views. Okay. So we can then piggyback off of that data. Now, when we go run ad number two, now we're going for leads. Yes, now we're going to start looking at cost per lead and start generating leads. And that's when earlier I'm, 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 I'm trying to really recommend go all in and, and, and only target the homeowner with content, whether it's organic or ads. We're only looking for the homeowner. I am not educating anybody else on purchasing or any of this other random real estate stuff. That's just my recommendation. You can do whatever, but, 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 it's, but, no, but I'm, I want to do what your plan is. Just... Yeah. But that's, that's marketing, right? Is now we're targeting one type of person. I have an avatar. 
Okay. Right? And, and even in my business to really, really keep it real with you, Andrea, you are my avatar. Like you are literally my avatar. I don't work with many men. I don't work with people under the age of 25. 99.9999% of my clients, and this has been this way since 2016, and I have hundreds of clients. I have hundreds of Andreas. 99.999% of my clients are a specific type of person. They're literally the Andreas. They're the Andreas. <laughs> I'm not joking. They are the Andreas. They're not the young 24 year old real estate agent who knows everything about social media and she's TikToking her ass off and she has 300,000 followers on Instagram. That's not my ideal client. My avatar is the Andrea. Like, so because I understand marketing and, and I understand going after one type of person. Same thing with real estate. And again, as I mentioned, every realtor is talking everything under the sun when you don't need to be. Go after one person. Right. So, 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 so now, now you have, now you have that avatar. Now you have that, that ideal, ideal client. So now it just comes down to testing. It comes down to testing audiences. It comes down to testing videos and, 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 and just, let, and, and, and continually to, to stay consistent. But this right here, those are the audiences that, that we would target. So we would target, we would target all three of them in this one, in this one run, maybe on ad number two, we only target one of them. Now, so what you're going to do is, let, for example, click all three of them, put all three of them, all three of them, and then, and then at this, the, and then, this yeah, one, this yeah, one, yeah. and this all one, all of them. Click all of them. Click all of them. Shift. Do all one by one if you need to. Do all of them. Oh, I see. And so, and so that would be one form of 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 testing. So at the very very top, I would give it a name. So scroll up to the very very top. So you want to title each step. Right. So we want to go through each step and entitle this right here. We're on step number two. And all I do is I, I give it a brief description of what I did in this step. So take away new leads ad set, delete that part here. I, I would put, I would put, um, targeting three special ad audiences, targeting all three special ad audiences, right? Targeting, targeting three, um, special ad audiences. And, and then, and then, and then I would put dash and then I would, and, and then the actual location. So, so down below, once you go down below the audiences, so go back down, cause you'll, you'll come back up and add another word to that title. And, and you'll, you'll add more to the title as we, as we really finalize what we're going to put down here. So what we did so far is we, we, we got the conversion event. That's cool. We got the website. That's cool. Scroll down. And then we got the audiences. We put the we put the special ad audiences in. So that's cool. And then scroll down the daily budget, whatever the budget may be, right? 15, 13 bucks a day or whatever, 13 okay. bucks a day. Um, maybe I might put 13 a day in the title at the top as well, right? And the only reason why, again, I'm putting a descriptive title is so when I look at the ad on the dashboard, I know exactly what ad that is. If I don't label the, if I don't put a good title, I won't know exactly what happened within that ad. And I have to click, I have to come into it. I have to look at it and no one has time for that. I want to just glance and see a title and know exactly what ad that is. That's the only reason for the, the titling at the top. Um, so, but, but scroll down. So now we, now we have our audiences. We have our special ad audiences. That's our form of testing. We're going to run this ad and test those audiences. Um, and then the locations that's when I would come down to locations. I would click edit over the United States, click on edit, and then X out the United States and put in the, the one address that we're going to be targeting, the local address. So when it comes to taking over your local area, I would either put in my physical address or maybe the, the physical address of the, of the office. Would it be here? Would, down, search here? locations, search locations, right above the map, search locations. Okay. Browse. Search location, just click inside. Yep. And then just type in whatever. So whatever, wherever you're targeting, stick to that targeting, right? So, so wherever you targeted for the intro video, we got 11,000 views on that first video, right? Where did you target that, that first video? Was it That's where my it, office is. Was it around your physical address or was it around a city, Mac, 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 Macedonia? Macedonia or whatever, how do you pronounce or, it? Or Sagamore. I mean, they're within five minutes of each other. What, whatever, 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 and, and whatever it is, stick to that targeting. So don't put one word here and one word, a different word tomorrow, like it, one keyword, because we want to really penetrate the exact location on every ad. That's the key. Um, 
So if anything, you can go, we can go look. Why don't we look? Let's go look. Hit the X and top left, X out real quick. Here, top left here. Yeah, X out and then um, come back to, yeah, X out. And then just hit close and then come to that first ad, our brand awareness. So click on, um, click on campaigns, the tab, click on the actual tab campaigns. Yep, that's the tab. So right here. So this second one down, intro video awareness. So um, check that, go ahead, and, go ahead and check that box to the left. Let's go into this one real quick and uncheck the top one, uncheck the top box. Okay. And then um, click on the middle tab. So once you check the box, now, we, now we're controlling this one ad, the intro video awareness. So let's click on the middle tab. And then right here, I wanna be able to look at that title and know exactly where I'm targeting, right? I put Cleveland. Exactly. So if you didn't put that, then we'd have to go into edit, watch under the title, click on edit, CLE 30 miles, click on edit below the title, edit. So if you didn't describe it there, we'd have to come in here, scroll down, right? And this is already time consuming. So, so that's my point on a descriptive title. So we don't have to come in here, but, but just scroll down to the map anyways, scroll down to the map. Was it Cleveland? Is that what you typed in? Is that what you actually typed in? Was right Cleveland? here, right here it says Cleveland. No, I know you titled it, but scroll down to the map. Is that what you actually ty typed in, right? Let's see. So scroll down to the map, keep going. So right here, up at the top, go back a little higher. So right here, yeah, you went Cleveland, right? So you went Cleveland 30. That's my point. So whatever you go with, stick to it. So the second one is not Macedonia or whatever. It's Cleveland. It's Cleveland okay. 30. Right? So, so close so out this. Close out this. So so now let's just go back. So uncheck go back, the box. Uncheck, uncheck the this. Box. Yes. Check this. Um, go back in into edit. Yes. Go back into edit. And so over here, yeah. So now you would just scroll down and, and, and Cleveland 30. And again, you can change it for sure. But whatever you change it to, stick to it. Like from this point on, you know, don't um, don't go one county or one city or a different one tomorrow, you know, next ad. Stick to the same one, um, same targeting. So locations right here, locations. So down locations right here, locations, edit locations. And, and eat and when you hit that drop down hit that drop down again when you click that drop down there's these four you know the drop down people living in this location so there's four different um criteria yeah so so these are all four different types of 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 people really right people living in or recently in people living in people recently in so oh people God, traveling so in. Specific. It, it like almost hurts my head well i mean if i was reading again a real estate book i'd probably fall asleep myself so so yeah i mean because you're not in this every day it seems like a foreign language yeah but it's really simple like it's just basic it makes sense you know like and, and it's the same thing so you're not going to be changing a lot of this stuff on every ad anyways you're i'm telling you to stick to the same location and target your audiences and that's it you know so here same thing here. So we're going with people who live in, yeah, people living in this location. So that's the, that from this point on, that's the only thing you need to do. You need to do okay. it. So on that one. That's it. So people living in this location, your targeting happened to be Cleveland. So you type that in there, put in 30 miles. Here, CLE? No, type it to a whole word in. You got to type it in and, and click the drop down. So keep typing until you see the drop down right there. Actually, that's Georgia. So keep type right there so there's cleveland and then you put the number 30 hit 15 miles hit that drop down um hit type in 30 type in the actual number 30 and then click on enter and that's it that's how you create that's how you run your first that, that's why i truly believe every single realtor for sure but every local business owner that's what you want to do first the first ad that you run to your local area make it brand awareness and in this case we introduce ourselves and again, I could have been the local plumber, the local dentist, the local dry cleaner, pulling out my phone, introducing myself. Hey, friendly neighbors, we're the local business here in, in, in X city, blah, 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 right? That video could have been done on any business. That's the first ad I recommend because what we did is we we got the data, right? Now we, we, we got the 11,000 view count, but then we narrowed it into a custom audience, which was the intro video 25%. And then we took it a step further and we created a special ad audience, which is a lookalike audience. 
So it's special ad for real estate. And then it's just a lookalike audience for everybody else. Mm -hmm. But that's when you now get access to more data. Now, now you leverage Facebook to go find you more people that resemble your custom audience, which was again, the intro video, 25%, that's your custom audience. But again, all we did is we took it a step further and we created the, the, the lookalike audience. So that's when you now are able to target hundreds of thousands of more people. And now, now that's when we're going for leads. If you're selling stuff online, that's when you could be going for sales, right? Is, is, is now, now you're in position. So now any, any questions on that part right there? I know that was a ton and I know that's a whole nother Japanese language for you. <laughs> I, I'm getting the more we do it, I'm getting it a little bit more, but I'm it's still like a foreign language. Go yeah, ahead. don't worry. We'll get it. But that's how you create a special ad audience around real estate and a lookalike audience um, for any other business. That's how that's how you scale Facebook ads by what we just did, creating these audiences.